Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullmoon Adventure Club and today we're going to be going over how to adjust some of the settings on the control panel or display of the Xantrax SW3012 inverter charger. Uh, this is a pretty intuitive display, it's pretty easy to use and so I'm just going to go through a few of the settings out there and show you how to adjust all those when you get it all installed. So without further ado, let's jump out there and check it out. Okay, to adjust any settings on this guy, we're going to hit the enter button. That's going to take us into the menu. And then you hit enter again to go into system settings, for example. Or you can use the up and down arrows to choose whatever menu you'd like to go into. Now, once we're in here, you can see you have a lot of different options here. You can change all of these different settings. But we're going to go up here and just show you how to use that. So say on the inverter, you would hit the enter button. Then the up down arrows to select what you would like, enabled, disabled. And then if you hit the function button, you will back out without changing settings. And if you hit enter, it will accept those changes. So you can see we accepted that, it's going to turn the inverter on. To turn it off, we can easily go to disabled and then hit enter again, that's going to turn it off. Now for battery type settings, I've got mine set for custom, which is what you'd set for lithiums, but you can adjust that to AGM, gel, flooded, custom, anything like that, and uh, I'm going to leave it on custom. You can set your battery capacity, I have 200 amp hours, we're going to accept that. Max charge rate is set at 100% because lithiums can take a lot of charge very quickly. And uh, you can also set your charge cycle, which is fantastic. Now, I've, uh, I have mine set for a two-stage charge cycle with no float, because lithiums don't need a float charge. Once they're charged, they're charged. But you can change that to a three-stage charge system, which is going to give you a bulk charge, an absorption charge, and then a float charge for lead acid and AGM batteries. I'm leaving mine on a two-stage no float. Recharge volts, I have mine set for 14.5 volts. And uh, you can also, this is a really cool feature, your AC in breaker can be set to whatever you're plugged into. So 50 or 30 amp service can be set at 30 amps for maximum charging. And if you have, say you're plugged into a 20 amp service, you could adjust that down so that it wouldn't blow the breakers, but it'd still give you the maximum amount of charge. Even if you had to use an extension cord in an ex like extreme situation that was a little bit long, kind of flimsy, you could set that down to 5 or 10 amps, so it's still going to charge your batteries without blowing the breaker or heating up the cord too much. So I really like that feature, and that is easily adjustable with the uh, soft keys on the main menu as well, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Your low battery cutout voltage, all of these different great options can be set. Here's a little trick for you though, if you hit enter up and down arrows at the same time, you can open up the advanced settings, and that's going to have your quiet time, start and stop times. Uh, lots of your advanced features, quiet time top off. Um, you can also set your configuration trigger, your, genera your generator cooldown times, uh, spin down for all that good stuff if you have diesel or electrics. You can set it to uh, exercise the generator every few days or like 30 days and run that for 30 minutes. Uh, you can even set it if it tries to start the generator up to three times and it doesn't work, it'll not try again because you might have a problem with your generator. So all in all, a really great display. It also has all these soft key functions, easy start on the display here at the bottom. By using the function button, you can cycle between them and then just use the up and down arrows to uh, automatically to start your generator, to start and stop the charger, the inverter, um, anything you want. So really, really great uh, display and I've really enjoyed using it. It's very easy to use. So there you have it. As I said, pretty simple to use. I'm really enjoying this guy. I hope you remember that uh, little tip about hitting the enter up and down arrows at the same time to open up the advanced menu. That's really only mentioned one time in the manual in a little small section. So I hope that saves you a little bit of time, but loving this guy so far. I think once you get it, yours all installed, you're gonna have absolutely no problem setting it for absolutely any kind of battery bank you have. This is a very versatile system. So I hope that helped you out. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.